Okay, in this video, we're going to have a look at this little proto board, which works together with a SCAMP3 board. Now, you notice there's a little pin header on the top, and that's where we could plug in the SCAMP3 board. We just plug it in, like that. And you notice on the SCAMP3 board, the pinout is silk screened, and that silk screen is mirrored on, this, on the proto board with a, a corresponding pads below it where we could grab any one of these pins. So as we're doing our wiring, we don't actually need the SCAN3 board. We could, we could disconnect it. Now in the middle, that's our working area. It's similar to a, a solderless breadboard, which you're familiar with, which has an isolation channel in the middle, where we could take ICs and we could straddle the IC on the isolation channel, like this. We could just plug in our IC. Now we could wire in our IC to our working area and we could grab any one of the pins from these pads from the bus, from the SCAN3 bus. Now on the bottom we have some power buses. There's a 3.3 volt bus that comes from the voltage regulator on the SCAN3 board. We have a common ground. We have a V, a V in. So say we need 12 volts in our circuitry, we could apply 12 volts to this bus and then just grab it when we need it. And on the very bottom is V in. That's the same as this V in. So if we want to run our SCAN3 project on batteries or external power supply, we just feed that into V in and then we could power, uh, it would be a standalone project with its own power supply. Okay, I built some circuits on my proto board, and the first circuit is a GPS, so I'm, I'm interfacing a GPS to the SCAMP3 board. The second circuit is this component here, it's a DS18B20. It's a temperature sensor by Dell Semiconductor, which uses the one wire protocol. So I made this video to target teachers. This is a good teaching aid. Your students could have a SCAMP3 board, they could take it home and play with it, and when they come to school, you build the lab, which will be on the, on the proto board. So in this case, we'll have a lab to interface and write code for a GPS and also interface this temperature sensor to this uh, SCAM3 board. Now I have this in socket so I can pull off this GPS and I can add on an accelerometer. So now we have an ADXL345 accelerometer. So we have a lab now for an accelerometer. So we could add all kinds of sensors. We could have a LoRa radio module. There's a digital potentiometer, we could plug that in. There's a MOSFET driver for PWM. So you come up with your own lab and you build your uh, lab on this proto board and then the students could come and they could pick which lab they want, plug in their SCAMP board and write code. Okay, I have some code running on the SCAMP3 board which is reading this temperature sensor, the DS18B20. And if it sees a temperature below zero, below zero degrees C, it's going to turn on these LEDs. So it's a frost detector and it'll trigger those LEDs. So I have some cold spray. And I'm going to spray the sensor. And you can see the LEDs come on, indicating that it's below zero. So if I hold it with my finger, warm it up, LED should go out. In this case, it's above zero, so the LEDs went out. I also have some code running that's reading the GPS, the NEMA strings. So we'll have a look at that next. Okay, I have TerraTerm up and running on my computer. It's connected up to my SCAM3 board, which is running some code that's reading the NEMA strings from the GPS. So I'll type NEMA, and that will start my program. And there's our strings. So we could pick up the strings that we want and go to the data fields and parse out the data for our GPS project. Okay, I have some code running on the SCAM3 board, which is reading the accelerometer, the ADXL345. And if I tilt the, the accelerometer uh, greater than 45 degrees, the LEDs on the top will come on. So it's like a little tilt detector. So I'll tilt it up, and when it goes above 45 degrees, our LEDs come on, I bring it back down, they go out. So, so it's, it's a simple little tilt program. So next we're gonna have a look at how we could build a free fall detector. Okay, I have a blanket on my chair, and I have some code running on the SCAM3 board, which is detecting free fall from the accelerometer. So if I drop the board, the LEDs will come on when it detects free fall. The LEDs are on, and they'll go out and we'll reset it. I can do it again. I'll drop it. Now free fall means only gravity is acting upon the accelerometer. If I throw it down, it doesn't come on because it sees a g-force on the z-axis. So only during a free fall we're going to get the LEDs coming on. Now for a more permanent solution you have six mounting holes total on both boards. You can mount it to a piece of aluminum like this with standoffs. 
makes it a little bit more sturdy. You can actually mount this in a, an enclosure that has slots. So if you're a teacher, I hope this video inspired you to some new ideas.